assalamu alaikum today's video is about the rhinosinusitis rhinosinusitis is the inflammation of the paranasal sinuses rhinosinusitis was formerly known as the sinusitis but the american academy of otorhinolaryngology recommends the use of the term rhinosinusitis because the sinusitis is almost always accompanied by the inflammation of the nasal mucosa what are the paranasal sinuses these are the uh, spaces inside the bones around our nose and these are filled with the air and uh, these are connected to the nose through uh, small hollow channels through which these uh, sinuses drain into the nasal uh, nasal cavity and the humans have four pairs of uh, par paranasal sinuses the maxillary sinuses present inside the cheekbones or the maxillary bones the frontal sinuses present inside the frontal bones the ethmoidal sinus sinuses present inside the ethmoid bone and the siphonoidal sinuses inside the siphonoid bone the causes of sinusitis include the viruses most cases of the sinusitis are caused due to the viral infections bacteria may also cause the uh, sinusitis and lead to the inflammation of the nasal mucosa and the mucosa of the uh, sinus uh, cavities and a few cases of uh, rhinosinusitis are caused due to the fungal infections now there are some uh, conditions which make make a person uh, at more risk of getting the rhinosinusitis these include the allergic rhinitis uh, exposure to the smoke or the cigarette smoking and anatomical abnormalities the anatomy uh, those anatomical abnormalities which uh, prevent the drainage of these sinuses into the nasal cavity the types include the uh, acute rhinosinusitis which lasts us for the less than four weeks uh, subacute rhinosinusitis lost us for four to uh, 12 weeks and chronic rhinosinusitis lost us for more than 12 months and it may continue through uh, several years the recurrent sinusitis means several attacks of uh, rhinosinusitis within a year the clinical manifestations include the pain the pain may be localized to the science uh, area of the science involved there may be present the headache there may be the uh, tenderness over the area of the science which is involved and uh, there may be a decreased sense of smell due to the inflammation of the nasal mucosa fever may be present due to the infection nasal obstruction is caused due to the uh, due to the inflammation of the nasal mucosa and uh, there may be the post nasal trip which can cause the cough diagnosis the the most important uh, part of the diagnosis is noting the signs and symptoms of the patient second we can use a rhinoscope in which a uh, doctor looks into the nasal cavity of the patient and finds out what is uh, the problem there we can also use the x-ray and but the gold standard for the diagnosis of rhinosinusitis is the use of a ct scan medical management involves the 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 medical management for viral, viral sinusitis is symptomatic that is it is directed towards controlling the signs and symptoms of the patient like the use of nasal decongestants for relieving the nasal congestion mucolytic agents for clearing the mucus increasing the fluid intake to thin up the secretions which can uh, which uh, can then easily drain out and analgesics uh, for controlling the pain for acute bacterial sinusitis, sinusitis all the above medications are used plus the antibiotics like the amoxicillin potassium clavulanate or the moxifloxacin for uh, 10 to 14 days and for chronic bacterial sinusitis uh, the same medications are used but the antibiotics are used for a longer period uh, approximately two to four weeks the surgical management involves the use of uh, functional endoscopic sinus surgery and uh, this may be used for correcting the structural abnormalities like the deviated nasal septum which prevents the drainage of the uh, um, paranasal sinuses removing the polyps and incising and draining the sinus the nursing management involves instructing the patient to blow the nose gently because blowing the nose with force increases the inflammation in the paranasal sinuses and the and inside the nose and can worsen the condition increasing the encouraging the patient to increase the fluid intake to thin up the secretions and uh, promoting the drainage of the um, the secretions 
and instructing the patient to immediately stop the smoking because smoking paralyzes the cilia and uh, the uh, and uh, the uh, mucus may get stuck there and provide and uh, provide a beautiful environment for the growth of bacteria and other pathogens which can then cause the infection and lastly to, uh, we have to educate the patient about the importance of following the uh, antibiotic regimen thank you that was all about the rhinosinusitis